Hi guys, it's Damaris and I wanted to share the cards that I've been making on my blog that you girls don't get to see because you either don't blog or don't have a blog so I um, wanted to share all of these with you so um, I'm not sure if I already showed you this one but um, it is it is a sketch card I think this was a either a greeting form or MFT dynamic sketch card that I did for a challenge I didn't enter it in any challenge I just did it so um, this is using hats off Anya I think that's the collection this swirl heel by MFT some Martha butterfly punch out a Fiskars punch out with a Fiskars uh, clear stamp and then the paper is by my mind's eye I think this is howdy duty so I pieced her hat I colored her clothes her shoes her hair um, and then I colored this red inside the hat to match her shirt so that's that card the inside it looks like this a couple of pieces of paper with a die cut border and then um, a Martha monogram butterfly with some pearls well that's that card <clears throat> and then this card um, was a card sketch also I think <laughs> I can't remember if you go visit my blog and look under the label cards or Copic card Copic coloring you could see more of um, why I made this particular card and if you're interested so this is using the Prima Metal Lark um, pad and I added some pearls down here I cut out these um, rectangle pieces with some spellbinders the deckled the deckled rectangles and um, these flowers here are MFT die cut flowers oops there's some string coming out of here um, using the felt and I just glued everything added some pearls this is a recollection uh, like a tool flower that I added and then Martha Stewart punched butterflies with some pearls and then this image I found on Etsy I can't remember the shop name but um, she, I think she has three of these and some other ones and um, I just fell in love with her she's so pretty she's so she's such a doll like she looks like such a doll look at her she's so beautiful and so I colored her in it was the first time that I was kind of successful with um, clothing and shadowing and things like that so I'm really really just you know practicing every day on my coloring and then this is a Stampin' Up! punch with a um, little sentiment it says time to celebrate and this is the inside some stamped butterflies and there's that duckled rectangle um, piece that I die cut so that's about it this is going to my cousin Gloria I promised her a birthday card so she's an older lady like I would say 60s 70s so I think she would enjoy this particular shabby card and then I got this one this is a design team card so this image you can find at carberdigital.com and it's baby girl so I wanted to do a girl baby girl card for a baby shower that I'll be going to soon and this stamp set is by Cloud9 I think or Fiskars Oops, excuse me sorry for the camera I colored her in with some Copics added a little shadowing on this side because the sunlight is coming from this direction and um, hello cute little diaper and then down here this is a um, piece of flower trim that I received from Sharon in a rack a while ago and I've been hoarding it I don't want to use it but I decided it was the perfect exact perfect match for this paper the paper is um, the my mind's eye lost and found I think it's Market Street and if I'm right I'm awesome because I never get the words right <laughs> um, some flowers by I am roses 
And then this is a little ticket that came with the collection, mounted on some craft card stock. And then I colored in the hearts to match her little shirt and her little baby. And then I added some pearls at the top here to kind of frame, kind of look like a little crown. Because she's a little princess. And inside the flower I added a buckle with the pearl. And by the way, I, I do sell these buckles in my Etsy. So if you are interested, you can go check the link below. I will add it for you. Inside is just plain. Let's go a little quicker. So this was a challenge by some odd girl. It was a sketch challenge. So this was my version of the sketch. I added some die cut. I mean some punched out clouds that I embossed and added bling. The paper I used is Authentic. I think this is Uncommon. This is the paper I used. And here's a die cut by Spellbinders that I kind of... Um, distressed with gray and she is a digital stamp that you can get at the some odd girl website and I think she was on sale in March so I, I, I picked her up and I immediately colored her in I really liked coloring her in the shadowing I really liked it here's a uh, stamp set that I got a while ago I think this is we are memory keepers so I stamped it and then I cut out the banners added the sentiment with a punch circle added some twine a button and some bling and that's it it's a really quick easy sentiment card and then that's the inside here's a petal of flower with a bling in the middle some bling here and then this is a stampin up die top note die that um i just had lying around so that's that card this is a design team card for Carver Digital. Also, this is my original sketch, so I didn't find this anywhere. I added tons of faux stitching all around everything. Here's a punched three-piece flower by Stampin' Up. added some pearls in the middle there. This is a sticker. I forgot where I got this from that I mounted and put on some dimensionals. I created this banner here myself just by eyeballing it. And then these two pieces, this is a Sizzix circle die and then this is a um, Spellbinders scalloped um, circle die. I embossed the background and then I colored in the little digital stamp. This one you can get at carburedigital.com. So that's my card and then inside it's just a pink mat with some more of that paper. The paper I used was from Echo Park, A Walk in the Park. That's the paper I used. This is a very um, common use of color for a card. I've seen this a lot on Pinterest and I wanted to create my own version of a rainbow. So I wanted it to be a very simple classy card. <clears throat> so I just used a white uh, mount on the back. This sentiment, sending love your way. I forgot where I got this from. Um, here's a buckle again that I sell in my, in my shop with the little um, crystal bling inside. And here's a ribbon that used to be that wide. So I folded it in half and I wrapped it around because I didn't like it. That it was too wide. And then the butterflies are punched. Um, they're from Martha Stewart. And then the bling inside are these teardrop blings that you can find at Joanne. And they're a dollar for the pack. And um, I basically turned them um, facing each other so they could look like the inside of the butterfly. And that's it. And I put placed them on the card in, you know, a rainbow order. So that makes that quick little card. And inside it's just basic white with some doodling around the edges. There's a few more cards to share. This one was a challenge card. I think this was um, a few challenges I entered this card into. And um, I used SEI paper, A Fair Day. And she's a digital stamp that I found on, on Etsy. And I used a lot of uh, stickles on the butterfly, on the grass, added some buttons some clouds. This is a Studio G stamp. Spring is in the air. Ribbon by Martha Stewart. And that's it. That's a quick card. It looks like that. 
Oh, and then the die cut is by Spellbinders, this one. And the one behind it is um, a Stampin' Up. So, this card, Tiddly Inks, makes this digital stamp, and you can find them on their website. Just Google Tiddly Inks. Back here, I embossed this vellum sheet and mounted it on some Brown Recollections cardstock. I also embossed this paper, and I just stressed it so you could see the, you know, the swirls and things. I mounted it, oh no, I distressed the edges, and this is a die cut by Spellbinders. The paper I used is Pink Paisley Indigo Blue, it's the new line from um, Winter Cha. And then I colored her in with some Copics and added some highlights. And this flower is by Petaloo. I left I left the brown. Normally I would add like a little bling, but she's kind of like a like a hippie kind of chick. So I left this brown little center there, you know, because it looks very like nature. And then I punched out this piece down here, Sentiment by Studio G. Added some Recollections brads on every corner here. And this one I entered it into a couple of challenges also. I think inside, yeah, inside is just a strip of blue paper. So this card was also a challenge. This was um, a layout challenge. And I added some of uh, this pleated ribbon in the back with regular um, satin ribbon in the middle. A die cut, this, this um, digital stamp. And this card, actually on my blog, I show you step by step how I colored it in. So if you're interested in how I colored her hair and her clothes and all that, just go to my blog. And I'll leave you the link to my blog and my Etsy below so you can go check that out. It's under Copic, Copic Coloring if you want to look that up in my labels. These are all Wild Orchid Crafts. And then these are the dollar store um, flowers that I just cut up. Recollections Bling. And this is a sticker. This is a, a chipboard sticker. I forget where I got this from. I think it's KI Memories. So that makes that card, and inside I just um, cut out this border strip and mounted it on white paper. And then the last card is this one, and this is a stamp by Wild, no, by Wild Rose Studio and um, Milton and Company. If you wanna Google that, you can go ahead and look for it. Um, I was a little intimidated to color this one because it's fur and I've never done fur so I'll give you a close-up of how I colored it the shadowing and his little titty so this is for a friend that I kinda met through YouTube who um anyway I'm not gonna tell you because she might watch the video <laughs> so I uh, added a lot a lot a lot of flowers here added the spray from Yaya's store this pearl spray and um, her shop is two the number two creative chicks c h i c s dot com I'll leave you her link also this butterfly received in a swap with Connie and then this um, purple trim here I purchased at Misty's shop and B Treasurista exhibit and then this um, lace trim I think this was either a rack or a swap and then I got some flat back pearls and this might be um, from Carla's Etsy shop more wild orchid crafts these are the daisy flowers down here and there's different colors and then here's the only pink one I just wanted one hot pink to be like a huge pop of color in the middle of all the purple and brown Oh, and then, um, see this butterfly here also is from the same swap from Connie, from this one. And it comes, like, with a, a long wire stem. So what I decided to do is make it, twirl it, twirl that wire, make it look like the bear is holding this butterfly balloon. So the balloon is, is being twirled and it's being held. So he's basically bringing this teddy bear and balloon to the person who's feeling a little sick and wanting them to feel better soon. 
so I want it to make it look like a little balloon floating. So that's my card and inside I left it blank. I want to do some writing and so this should be shipping out this week. So that's it. Those are all my recent cards that you guys have probably not seen because um, they're on my blog. And I know it takes a lot of time and effort to go check the blogs. So I decided I would share my cards with you here on video on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired to make some cards and to get crafty, get creative, take out your Copics. Don't be intimidated. I was intimidated also, but it's really, really relaxing. It's really fun. And I guarantee, you know, the more you do it, the better you'll get and the more excited you'll be about coloring. So that's about it. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget the, the links are below. Bye, guys.